On the story, we are now joined via Skype from Yawunde, Cameroon, by Newswatch Managing Editor Ndi Eugene. Ndi Eugene, thank you so much for joining us on The Globe and a very good evening. How come you have some leaders who have already declared themselves winners before the official announcements of the res results? Well, Lulu, thank you for joining me here. Um, the, the issue of leaders declaring results, uh, they, they can be looked at from two perspectives. Um, the leaders, uh, uh, their supporters say they, they are sounding a warning by declaring the results or by claiming victory. They are sounding a warning to the Constitutional Council that is in charge of collecting tallies from local polling agents and uh, uh, forwarding to the, the body in charge of uh, announcing the vote. Mm -hmm. But um, from another perspective, you see that um, they are also trying to get their followers to know that their vote uh, did not go for nothing, that uh, they, they voted for them and that they have won, uh, which is a message still to their followers that they have won. But uh, as you know, this is all uh, against the law because uh, Article 137 of the Electoral Code stated clearly that uh, the presidential election results are proclaimed by the Constitutional Council and not by any other person or organ. Now, speaking of the law, are these leaders not exposing themselves to possible prosecution? Well, um, just like the, the Minister of Communication, Mr. Isa Chiroma Bakari, said the other day, they, they are exposing themselves to prosecution. But uh, like I said, they think that that is the only way they can defend that they can protect their vote. They claim they have won, and by so doing, they are sending a message to the National Vote Counting Commission that is in place to not to tamper with the tally that comes from the local polling agents that are, are, are being examined at the moment as, as we speak. Now, we learned that the media, from media reports that the country have confirmed reports that a number of opposition parties have approached the court over the October 7th presidential elections. Talk to us about this court application. Oh, yes. Um, actually, uh, we've had uh, three opposition leaders who were in, in the race uh, to succeed President Bia submit uh, um, submit uh, uh, petitions to the Constitutional Council. Uh, Professor Maurice Camtu of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, who earlier declared himself a uh, winner of the election, has uh, petitioned the Constitutional Council to cancel the elections in some parts of the country, while uh, main opposition leader uh, Joshua Osi and the youngest opposition leader who was in the race, uh, Cabral Libi, have uh, called on the Constitutional Council to annul the whole process, the whole electoral process, citing irregularities and massive fraud. Now, with this court application by three opposition leaders, and then comes, um, there's reports that uh, have emanated that lobby and rights group Transparency International has given the election a thumbs up. Where do these reports come from? Can these be confirmed? Well, um, uh, actually, on, 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 on Monday, some, some observers who were claiming to be from Transparency International actually said the polls were free, fair, transparent. Mm. But uh, a day after their declarations, Transparency International issued a statement saying they do not recognize any election observers that were in Cameroon. Uh, the president of Transparency International Cameroon, uh, Barista Charles Nguini, said they are, uh, they are investigating and uh, they, will, they will come out with uh, the findings on how some people are impersonating and claiming to be Transparency International election observers in Cameroon. What's the feeling about the overall election so far? What are analysts and critics saying about the elections that took place on the 7th of October? 
Well, um, those who are commenting are either close uh, followers or aides of candidates who are all claiming victory or who are all claiming the polls were free, fair. Eugene? Time right. to make comments as uh, the tally is still co going on at the National Vote Counting Commission. Mm -hmm. So time for comments will come. The, com the Constitutional Council has 15 days, according to the law, to publish the results, while the Vote Counting Commission has five days to compile the results and forward to the Constitutional Council. Mm -hmm. And the Constitution... <coughs> the petitions that have been filed before the, the uh, proclamation of the official results and many people think it is not yet time to comment on those results uh, nature conduct of the polls mm -hmm. apart from uh, uh, observers who have been along saying the polls were free uh, except the church that they said uh, they, they, there were some hitches but everything is moving on people are a little to come. Now, very quickly, Eugene, before I let you go, um, pres incumbent President Paul Bia has been in power for almost 36 years. What's the feeling on the ground for Cameroonians with the possibility that uh, there might be another victory and extend a term for incumbent uh, Paul Bia? All right, we seem to have lost uh, that connection um, to Eugene D. Eugene D. from Cameroon, um, who was giving us an update on uh, what's happening with regards to leaders declaring themselves, opposition leaders declaring themselves uh, winners of the elections that took place in Cameroon on the 7th of October.